Good morning, folks. Over at Space Weather News, we can see that solar flaring remains very low. The sun is not inactive, however, as a series of far side eruptions has energized the inner heliosphere. First one rips away quickly, and the second one sort of moseys out a few hours behind. Neither eruption is aimed at Earth, but they should reach 1 AU for longitudinal wave effects during the middle of the quake watch. We'll come back to that. The sunspots have not been active, however I do see a potential for change there. Central sunspot could develop more in its southern portions, and the southern incoming group is complex already. Wouldn't be surprised to catch a delta zone by tonight. Apart from the sunspots, we've got a large filament cresting the northeastern limb. It'll be an eruption threat. We also have a coronal hole stream on its way to Earth from the dark patches facing us here. Combined with the planets, those kick off the quake watch today, but that assumes that the coronal opening survives. The far side blast twirled the coronal fields, and we'll just have to wait for them to settle. Since the last earthquake watch, which saw two near seven pointers, we have had only one magnitude six tremor. That should change later this week. Top story is about Euphrosyne, the top 10 largest object in the asteroid belt and maker of many NEOs. It's thought that Euphrosyne had one of the last great collisions in our system. Stories linked below. We also have a super typhoon heading west, and this will be one for the records unless something very lucky happens. Eyes open in the far east. And speaking of east, the East Pacific hurricane is going to slide right past Hawaii. Worst effects will be offshore for sure. Featured content of the day for website members is under Deeper Look. We've got your August geometries and preliminary earthquake and solar warnings for the rest of the month in episode 68. The Deeper Look before that is the featured public content. Anyone can click on that page and see what they missed yesterday. Two major videos for the observers, and if you miss them, just go to the Deeper Look section right now and hit number 67. Warm, moist air comes up and meets cooler air from Canada, both in New England and in the central corridor up to the Midwest. Both zones have alerts tonight. In Europe, the lone warning is for the islands. Weather shares from those affected here are most welcome. Down under the top focus is the Antarctic low, drawing its convergence up across New Zealand. Likely be some flash floods associated. We've got your current conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.